For those of you trained on conventional shop tools, learning to use a CNC router requires a slight adjustment in how you plan out the making of things. For example, let's look at this apple box. In order to make this in a conventional shop, you'd first use a table saw to cut the individual pieces to consistent dimensions. You'd cut the raw shape of these handles with a plunge router, or maybe you'd drill two holes with the fours in a bit and connect them with a jigsaw. Then you'd put the rounded edges on the handle holes on both sides of the workpiece using either a trim router or a router table. And finally, you'd knock the thing together, and then you'd flush trim and round off the edges with a router or router table. But we're going to perform all of these operations on a single machine, the ShopBot desktop. So for one thing, we won't be using the bearing-guided roundover bit you'd use in a conventional shop. Since we're achieving all of our cuts with plunging, this type of bit isn't practical, as the bearing would get in the way. Instead, we're going to use these, which are called point-cutting roundover bits. These are suitable for plunging. We set them to cut directly on the profile line of our pieces to get that nice rounded edge. You can also use them to carve letters and get some interesting effects. You can buy point roundover bits in a variety of radii from Amana Tool, and there's also companies like Whiteside and Magnet that make less expensive ones. Look for our videos on how to make Apple boxes with the ShopBot desktop to see how we use them.